Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Nika Nadia. Today, we are going to be doing a glute or booty workout, also a glute activation exercise. This is great to do on its own. You can also do this before any workout. I highly suggest it before your yoga practice, even before you go about your day. It's super imperative that our glutes are switched on and fired and we are sitting far more than our body is designed to. So, so often our glutes are getting switched off, which is detrimental to the way that our body is functioning. So we must, must, must take time almost every single day to switch on those glutes. And this is also going to lift your bottom and give it a nice round shape. Let's start coming onto our tummy. We don't need any equipment today and we are going to be going through a series of exercises for 13 minutes, so short and sweet, all on the floor, easy on our knees and performing each exercise for 30 seconds. All right, are we ready? Lying down on your stomach, making a pillow with your hands, forehead resting down. We're going to begin by just lifting and squeezing only our right leg up and down. Let's go. Right leg lifts and squeezes and lowers. Keep going. Make it low if you need to, to make sure that you're not using your back muscles and really isolating into those glute muscles. Engage your lower belly, squeezing your core in. Keep going a few more, really squeeze that glute. And up and hold. Hold it here, you guys. Breathing. Think about tucking your pelvis a little bit so we're not overarching our back. Squeeze your belly in, squeeze that glute. We're almost done here. A little longer. And going for the other side, here we go. Left leg squeezes and down. Breathing, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Almost there, getting ready to lift and hold. Here we go, holding. Think about that leg staying long, reaching away from the body. After this, we're flipping onto our back. Three, two, one, and on our back, let's go. Arms down at our sides, pressing through your heels, feet are parallel, lifting hips up and down. You don't need to go as high as you possibly can. That might add too much pressure in the lower back. Just make sure that you're tucking. So really feeling that space where the glutes and hamstrings meet. Now we're going to hold here. Keep tucking. Imagine like you're holding a penny between your butt cheeks, your glute muscles, and really squeezing, holding it there. Well done. Keep inner thighs engaged. Don't let knees open. And release. Now with one leg, keeping the thighs parallel to one another. Extend one leg out, pressing down through that heel, lifting up. If you start to feel your lower back in this one, you may put your foot down. Try to do a few though. Really isolating, feeling it all in the glute muscle. Good job. 
and switching. Thighs parallel to one another, leg extending out, pressing through that heel. And let's take our feet wide and slightly turned out, pressing hips up and down. Make sure you're really grounding down through your heels and initiating the lift from the heels and from squeezing of the bottom. Now let's lift and hold, good job. You should be feeling a nice healthy burn, but really just in your glutes, maybe a little bit in your hamstrings, but nothing in your back. Making it smaller if you need to, sometimes less is more. Making sure we're targeting the correct muscles. And release, now with feet almost together or completely together if that's comfortable, same thing. And hold, good job. Breathing. Keep tucking strong and release. Finally, feet together, knees open. Last one on our back, pressing through the outer blades of the feet, up and down. Knees are open like a frog, frog hip thrusts or glute bridges. And hold, good job, squeezing that penny, lifting up, breathing. Keep pressing. And release, let's come on up and to our hands and knees. And alternating donkey kicks, squeeze up and down, switch other leg, up and down, up and down. Keep a strong tuck of the pelvis here, up and down. Keep going, we're going to continue. Almost there. Now let's lift our right leg up and hold little pulses, heel to the ceiling, squeeze it up, up. Notice if your back is arching, tuck it in, squeeze belly in and press. Good. 
Good. Straighten that leg out and tap toe down and kick up. Keep going here. Chest is open. Spread your fingers. Pressing into the mat. Pressing the floor away from you. No swinging. Slow and controlled. Squeezing a lot. We're about to switch. Three, two, one. Here we go. A left leg or whichever leg you have not done yet. Flexing through that heel like you're pressing the ceiling away and pulsing it up. And stretch that leg out, tap it down and up. And now, fire hydrants, lifting the leg to the side, pulling knee up and down, up and down. Check that we're not swinging and that the back is not tipping too much. A nice trick is to put your phone or something on your lower back here to notice if it tips open like this too much. We're not doing much there, just swinging our skeleton around. Rather, I want you to control it and squeeze. Working our abductors now, outer hips, let's pulse it up, outer and upper glutes squeezing. Breathing. Remember, we're not tipping open. Trying to keep your hips facing towards the floor more as opposed to to the side. I know it's burning. And let's go for the other side, you guys. Left leg lifting up or whichever side you have not done. Find a squeeze at the top of each one. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. And pulses, here we go. Almost done, let's come onto our belly. Last two exercises, bend knees and lifting both legs up and down. I recognize some of us, it might be very difficult to do this move at first. So it's more just a thinking about the glutes squeezing and lifting than even letting the knees get up, not so important. Focus on squeezing those glutes, pulsing up and down. And finally, last one, leg stretch out, lift and hold. Forehead can be down, chest can be lifted, arms can be back at the sides for an added bonus of opening the chest. Squeezing that penny, squeezing your bottom, almost there, breathing. Three, two, one and rest good job you guys excellent work let's stretch it out on our back cross your left ankle over your right thigh give your legs a squeeze 
Big breath. And switch other side. And release, hug both legs in. Okay, you guys, that's all for now. I hope you're feeling nice and strong in your bottom. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.